U.S. government has recognized XRP as an alternative to dollar. Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, commented on an article written by the Wall Street Journal, WSJ, and criticized SEC Chairman Gary Gensler's approach to cryptocurrency as counterproductive. The head of the SEC said that he would block innovation until he could control the cryptocurrency markets. Welcome to the Finance Up channel. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Do you think the analysts are right about XRP? Write the answers in the comments. Giving away 500 XRP at the end of the week. One random subscriber will receive XRP coins. Take a look at the instructions in the comments section. All you need to do is write the word XRP, watch the video to the end, to like and subscribe. Ripple CEO wrote, Mr. Gensler's blockade is counterproductive if his goal is to protect investors. Quote, According to Garlinghouse, the WSJ article is enough to provoke congressional action that will stop Mr. Gensler from continuing his regulation by coercion approach in the nascent industry. However, Garlinghouse noted that if the U.S. Congress is not incited by the WSJ article and tries to stop Mr. Gensler, he is not sure what will prompt them to act. Unless it requires congressional action to stop Chairman Gensler's preferred method of regulation by enforcement, I'm not sure what is needed, Garlinghouse tweeted. At WSJ Opinion, writes, Mr. Gensler's blockade is counterproductive if his aim is to protect investors. If that doesn't call for congressional action to stop Chair Gensler's preferred method of regulation by enforcement, I'm not sure what does. The Ripple CEO's comment echoes the continuous outbursts of the crypto community about the methods that the SEC uses to regulate the cryptocurrency industry. For years, the SEC has been calling for more transparent cryptocurrency regulations to guide the nascent industry. The SEC claims that its rules on digital assets are clear, without giving any further guidance. However, when cryptocurrency-related firms try to figure out these rules and offer products based on their interpretation of SEC rules, the agency takes action and accuses them of violating its policies. An example is the ongoing litigation between Ripple and the SEC. Recall that at the end of 2020, the SEC accused Ripple and two of its executives, including Garlinghouse, of conducting an unregistered securities offering, as a result of which the company raised $1. 3 billion during the initial coin offering, ICO, in 2013. Ripple noted that it has hired specialists to make sure that its cryptocurrency sales do not violate U.S. securities laws. However, the SEC decided to bring a lawsuit against Ripple seven years later, despite the efforts made by the company not to get into the agency's bad books. The trial dragged on for more than a year. The case is expected to be completed no later than March 31, 2023. The leading decentralized exchange on XRP, based on the XRP ledger, has announced that U.S. citizens can now buy Ripple, XRP, directly on the platform. According to the announcement made by the trading platform, people living in the U.S. and other parts of the world can buy XRP using their credit cards and Apple Pay. The initiative will allow U.S. residents, with the exception of those living in New York and Hawaii, to directly buy the seventh largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. OnXRP's statement notes that the ability to offer direct XRP purchases on its platform became possible after it integrated Banks's fiat solution on the platform. We present to you our fiat on-ramp based on it Banks official, which can be found in the cash section on our DEX or directly at https colon slash slash DEX. onxrp.com on-ramp. Citizens of the world in the United States, except New York and Hawaii, can now easily buy XRP with a credit card and Apple Pay, on XRP said in a statement. The decentralized exchange noted that although the service is not currently supported in Canada, it is interesting to offer residents of several U.S. states the opportunity to buy XRP. Everyone should have the right to make a decision about buying XRP, Banks added. On Twitter it is noted. Unfortunately, we cannot offer these services in Canada due to regulations. However, the most important thing for U.S. was the opening for most U.S. states. Everyone should have the right to make a decision about buying XRP. A huge win for the XRP community. This development is an important milestone for the Ripple community. After the announcement, more people, including residents of individual U.S. states, will now have access to the digital currency.
U.S. exchanges stop supporting XRP after Ripple SEC lawsuit. It is noteworthy that American cryptocurrency exchanges were forced to stop supporting XRP on their trading platforms after the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple. The agency said that Ripple violated its rules by offering unregistered securities within its regulatory competence. Since the lawsuit is still ongoing, American exchanges have no choice but to exclude XRP from the list of their platforms. Exchanges fear that if Ripple loses the lawsuit, the SEC may charge them with facilitating the trading of unregistered securities. Unfortunately, the lack of support for XRP on exchanges in the US has caused significant damage to the value of the coin. XRP has fallen more than 50% since Ripple was officially charged by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Ducati is collaborating with the NFT platform, NFT Pro, as the world-famous motorcycle manufacturer enters Web3. Zero via Ripple. Ducati announces its entry into Web3. Zero in partnership with NFT Pro, the number one NFT enterprise solution for global brands. Ducati's upcoming projects will be deployed using Ripple, a leading blockchain partner providing technical support for the ultra-fast, low-cost and carbon-neutral XRP ledger, XRPL, blockchain. With this partnership, the Bologna-based motorcycle manufacturer confirms the importance of the digital world for the experience it offers to its fans. Over the next few months, a number of Web3.0 events will be developed by creating new digital aggregation spaces, NFT collections, and opportunities to participate in new events typical of the Web3.0 universe that are already relevant in the cryptocurrency community. Since the first generation of digital services, Ducati has been a pioneer in using new technologies to attract, entertain and feed the passion of a large community of its fans around the world. Some examples of Ducati's first digital era are the sale of the first motorcycle online on January 1, 2000, the creation of a blog dedicated to the exchange of opinions between Ducati and the company's top management, Desmoblog, or chats with Ducati course riders. With the development of available technologies and services, the company has expanded its offer, using every opportunity, starting with entering the world of social networks and opening official channels, which today are a meeting place and a dialogue with millions of fans. The current price of XRP for today you can see yourself on the screens, and the trading volume for 24 hours is 1,294,436,065 US dollars. We are updating our XRP price in US dollars in real time. XRP has dropped 4.08% in the last 24 hours. Do you think XRP will be able to win the court and restore its former price? Write the answers in the comments. That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video to the end, if you liked it, then don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel.